right you guys got another video here for you on scaling your screen to get it to fit right when you're using ie a mini computer like this one or you're using some sort of laptop or something like that to display so you can use your pc uh your uh, tv screen as a pc monitor if you wanted to now a lot of the problems that people have is this overscaling where it's just overscaled and you can't see it here and it doesn't matter what you do in the resolutions it won't fix it now there is a pc uh, setting you can use on most tvs uh, in the source area here but uh, it doesn't always work and you may get a black screen if you're using a hdmi cable or something like that it won't always uh, display the screen properly so another question that people come up with I've shown people how to do it with an Nvidia and also AMD but someone uh, commented and said they have an HD graphics controller and they can't seem to uh, change it and it won't work for them so let me just show you what that is I'm going to open up a control panel here and go into large icons and you can see here the Intel HD graphics controller inside here when we open this up this is exactly uh, what they're talking about they said they can't get the full screen on here so when you go into display if you're using the latest version of uh, this HD graphics control panel you should have some sliders here which you can maneuver up and down as you can see the sliders aren't here now you may be fortunate enough to have the piece of software with the sliders on just like I'm showing you here and you can use these to change the uh, overscaling to make them a bit smaller and uh, that should be easy enough to do by using those but you can see here we don't have that option on here so we need to update our software but what we need to do is upgrade this software and I'm pretty sure that this software is old uh, because it wanted to upgrade windows and if you are not seeing the sliders here you will need to update those so I'll show you how to install that so I've already gone to my downloads uh, section here let me just open this up and I've downloaded uh, the file it's inside here now if you're wondering where that is it will be on the Intel site here let me just open this up so you can see it's on their Intel site you can get the Intel graphics driver for Windows 10 this is the latest version right up to uh, the 23rd of the 5th uh, 2017 and the version is this one here and it tells you what it is and you want to make sure that you're using a 64-bit or a 32-bit depending on what version of Windows you're using uh, but let me go down here onto the start button and right click this and click system if I can get it up there there we go now on the system area here it will tell you if you're running a 64-bit operating system and you can see here it gives us some other information uh, but let me just go into device manager from here and we'll take a look at the device manager just pop that down here there's a lot of windows open so let me just drop these down so you can see let me just drop that down there as well so as you can see here we do have our device manager open and I want to show you the display adapter and if you can see it here it's the Intel HD graphics when you click on this double click on this it will open up and tell you the device is working properly and the driver information will be here and as you can see it's the old driver we have installed on here and it also is the 31st of the 3rd 2016 which is pretty old now if we put the new one on it should rectify this problem you can sometimes come in here and update the driver by scanning uh, the internet for the update if you wanted to do that by it says search automatically and update the driver so if you're still having issues uh, with your TV and uh, you still can't get the display to work which is pretty normal for this Intel HD graphics controller you may have trouble trying to get the full screen and especially if you are uh, tried all the settings that I've told you here and you're still having problems now the only other thing you could do is go into your TV settings now you're going to want to go into your menu and once you get your menu up here what you want to do is come down to the mode setting here now don't worry about PC mode uh, because it's not going to work for you you're going to have to come down to your mode here and then drill down and your TV, TV may be different but you want picture options or something along those lines okay and then once you go in there you want to click OK 
and it will take you into here and you will see the color tone size and all that sort of good stuff now it's the size what you want you can see here 16 uh, colon 9 and that is the normal size of a screen here what we use here so we're going to click OK here and this should give you some options like wide uh, zoom zoom 4 uh, colon 3 and also screen fit now screen fit sounds pretty good so we're going to click OK here on screen fit screen fit is now enabled we're going to come out of here and you can tell you on here you'll see this is a no, just a, an, an old TV here and uh, we're going to go out of here by clicking exit and you can straight away see that that is now resolved the issue and we're now got a proper screen uh, set in there for our TV so that's a great way of uh, fixing any sort of screen uh, issues when you're using the HD uh, graphic control there and if you're not having much luck with it and you haven't got those sliders because some of the older ones had the sliders you may not have those and if you don't that's another resolution that you can use okay anyway hope this one helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys and I shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now Thank <laughs> you.